Hi everyone and welcome to DeFi Daily, the channel where every day we talk about DeFi, going through different news, analysis and tutorials. Today we are going to talk about uh, what is an automated market maker or AMM and what is the difference between an AMM and a DEX. But before to start, I would like to ask you, if you want to help me, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to be always updated every time I publish a new video. And before to start, a quick disclaimer, always remember that all the contents in this channel are just for educational purpose and nothing has to be intended as a financial advice. Do always your own research before investing in anything. Okay, now we are ready to start. Let's start enlightening what is the difference between a DEX and automated market maker. Okay, a DEX is simply a decentralized exchange that can be a decentralized, a decentralized exchange that is leveraging, for example, an automated market maker like Uniswap. Uniswap and this feature, the swap feature, is using an automated market maker. And in a moment, we will also see how does it work. But on the other side, there are other platforms like, for example, Radium and this kind of feature in Radium that is still a DEX, a decentralized exchange, but is not an automated market maker because this feature is working through an order book. So it is managing uh, your trade, your swap, your exchanges, not through an automated market maker, not through a pool, but through an order, an order book. An order book is the way also centralized exchange are managing your uh, trades. For example, Binance, FTX, all of them, they have a, a, an order book through, uh, through which they are managing all the trades. A DEX is just a general word that refers to the fact that we are talking about a decentralized platform that specifically has the aim to exchange different coins or tokens. But to satisfy this kind of need, this kind of goal, it can work in two different ways. On one side, like Uniswap, through an automated market maker. On the other side, like Radium, that is leveraging the Serum technology. If you are working, what is Serum, what is Radium? Radium, I also have a video for you. You can find the link in the right corner here. Once we have understood what is the difference between a DEX and AMM, the AMM is just a technology that could be used on a DEX. Let's go uh, into what is an AMM. An AMM is a mechanism that gives you the opportunity to interact with a pool. And this is uh, the algorithm that creates the price of each uh, tokens, of each token inside the pool. Why? Let's start to say that uh, an automated market maker works with uh, uh, pools. What are pools? Pools are like boxes when uh, you put inside, for example, on Uniswap, two tokens or coins. Let's say that we can have a pool uh, with inside Ethereum and USDC. USDC is a coin that is uh, related to the dollars. So it is, uh, the, his value is always, uh, or at least should be always equal to one. Dollar. When you interact with the pool of Ethereum and USDC, for example, selling your Ethereum to receive back some USDC, the price is generated by an algorithm or, or better, how the price will change after you have sold your Ethereum to receive some uh, USDC, the price of the two coins or tokens will be decided by an algorithm and this algorithm is called automated market maker. Why? Because when you add liquidity on a certain pool, you will add liquidity in the in equal value. For example, let's say that you are adding 
you are adding $1,000 uh, to a certain pool, you will add $500 uh, of uh, token A and $500 of token B. In other words, the total value of token A inside the pool should always be equal to the total value of uh, uh, token B contained by the same pool. So the automated market, making, market maker is calculating through different kind of formula and algorithm that I will not go through right now because each platform has his own algorithm and that's not important. What I really care you to understand is that uh, there is an algorithm, there is a, a mechanism that is managing the price and the price when you are interacting with a pool could create some difference, some discrepancy between the price that is generated by the automated market maker and the price in a centralized exchange. But in that case, what will happen? It will happen that uh, there is the opportunity for an arbitrage and this arbitrage will be uh, uh, exploited by some bots with any probability. You too could theoretically be able to, uh, to take advantage from this uh, uh, arbitrage. The, tru the truth is that only bots are so fast to take advantage from these opportunities. Okay, let's recap. DEX and AMM are two different things because we can have DEX with a, an order book like a centralized exchange, but we can have also a DEX with an AMM. The AMM is just the way uh, the DEX, the centralized exchange, is providing you uh, the feature of swapping or trading some different tokens. An AMM, an automated market maker, is using a pool. When you are exchanging uh, uh, tokens uh, with uh, a DEX that is using an automated market maker, you are interacting with a pool, taking in and taking out uh, a certain amount of tokens. The price is determined by an algorithm that is assuring that the total value of token A inside the pool is always equal to the total value of token B inside the pool. There are many kinds of, of automated market maker and there are different algorithms that are managing the value and how the price is generated. What we have to remember is that when you use an automated market maker, you are generating some discrepancy between the price of the token inside uh, the DEX that is using automated market maker compared to the price that is uh, generating by an order book in a centralized exchange, for example. And those arbitrage are solved by bots that are taking advantage and making money through this kind of discrepancy. Okay, guys, if you have any question, if it's not still clear, just write me into the comments and I will be more they're pleased to uh, answer to you. I hope that this kind of content helps and please leave me a thumbs up to help you spread the word and remember to subscribe to be always updated every time I post a new video. Thank you guys and see you tomorrow.